friends and family, this is SP News Nugget, and I have a story for you guys today. Um, we're going to talk about this couple, this married couple, that adopted this six-year-old girl to later find out that she was not six years old, but she was actually a full-grown woman of the age of 22. We're going to get into this commentary. I'm going to be able to share with you guys some facts of the information and tell you what is going on. First of all, let me share with you guys this clip. Here we go. Is this child a child or a grown woman? A Florida couple say they were duped into adopting her from Ukraine. They claim they were told she was only six years old, but then they say red flags started to pop up, leading them to believe that she was much older. On top of that, the child's adoptive father tells our Stephen Fabian she threatened to kill his family. Is this the face of a child or a woman posing as a child? Her name is Natalia, and in 2010, she was adopted by Michael and Christine Barnett. They were told she was originally from Ukraine and was afflicted with a form of dwarfism. How old do you think she is at the time? Okay, at that moment, six. But questions about Natalia's age surfaced the first night they brought her home. Barnett was urgently called into the bathroom by his wife, who was bathing right. Natalia. She's got this look on her face. She's white as a ghost. She's scared. And she just says, look. You think you have a six-year-old in your house, and there are signs that she's already gone through puberty, which would make her much older than at six years old. Yeah. And they say there was something else. She's got a monthly cycle. And she's hiding it. And I'm stunned. There was another red flag. Technically, she is a Ukrainian adoptee. She's never spoken a word of it. She doesn't have a hint of an accent. Hello and happy Thanksgiving. The family already had three sons. One son, Jake, is a math genius who was profiled on 60 Minutes in 2012. In the segment, you can see Natalia sitting at the dinner table with the rest of the family. She attempted to kill Christine twice. According to Barnett, Natalia allegedly tried to poison his wife with a household cleaning product, Pine Sol. She had poured the Pine Sol in her coffee. She just says blatantly, plainly, no emotion, I'm trying to kill you. I want you dead. Barnett says Natalia expressed a desire to stab the entire family in their sleep. It was at that point that the Barnetts said they had enough. They decided to move and start a new life without their adopted daughter. They packed up their lives and headed north of the border to Canada, but they left Natalia to fend for herself all alone at this apartment in Lafayette, Indiana. The Barnetts paid a year's rent for Natalia. He says Natalia is capable of taking care of herself since, in his opinion, she is an adult pretending to be a child. Barnett's lawyer, Terrence Kennard. We have done a, a massive amount of research on this, looking at historical records, medical records, um, mental health records, and it is apparent that, A, this person is an adult and always has been when she was in the care of the Barnetts. The Barnetts face two counts of felony neglect, charges that they say miss the point entirely. Do you have any doubts that Natalia is an adult? Absolutely not. There, there's no doubt whatsoever. Okay, you guys, I told you this was a hot mess. So let's recap a little bit so I can share with you where they're at today, why this case is so important. It's getting ready to come up. Uh, Christina and Michael is getting ready to go to court. They have been charged with neglect. Because in 2013, they moved to Canada and left this supposedly six-year-old, which were actually 22-year-old, in a home. Now, they paid for rent for four years. She catches the bus. She can go up and down the stairs. She can cook for herself. She can do her hair and everything. But they have charged the parents of this little girl, uh, the adopted parents. Now, her, her biological mother reached out and said that she is actually literally was six years old when they adopted her. But they have ruled in 2012, 13, and 17 that she was actually 22 years of age when they adopted this young lady. Now, um, before they left for Canada, the family made sure that they, back in 2011 and 12, 
they had take classes for to get her prepared for like taking care of herself. They rented her apartments and everything, and she was doing just fine. So they just didn't still leave her hanging. They literally paid for her to 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 be able to take care of herself. So when 2013 came, their son had one of their sons had an opportunity to go to school in Canada, which was a big thing for them because I, I guess he was a genius and this was his big break. So they just didn't jump up and move away from Natalia. They basically was going with the dreams of the other children that was moving along in life. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that um, they, they might get off. Who knows? Or they might get charged. If they get charged with neglect and leaving this 22-year-old woman that was acting like she was 6-year-old, they can go to prison. Because, um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. This was like different and weird. But they were um, went to a hearing just this month in October. And so they go back to court in December. And that they are going to end up in prison for neglect of a minor. Now this is a weird story because she looks like a six year old. And... Um, you guys seen how she walked and played with the dog and things? She were acting like a six-year-old. But this was a 22-year-old woman. They said that she had pubic hair. They said she had a menstrual cycle. They say that her teeth literally grew as an adult teeth. And see, doctors can know how old you are by your teeth and your bone. Now, even though that she has this dwarfism... This disease called dwarfism, it's still, you can still tell how old a person is. I, I don't know what's going to happen. This was a good topic, a hot topic. I wanted to share with you guys with other the other topics that we're going to get into tonight. So I just want you guys to have this information so we can talk about this. Because I know you guys are going to click on it and you're going to say, how did this couple end up thinking that they were adopting a six-year-old. In fact, she was 22-year-old. So I had to show you that clip. And um, I might get dinged on it for showing you that clip. But I'm going to show you the clip so you know what we're going to be talking about and so that you can have some of the facts. So, you guys, I'll see you guys tonight live at 5 p.m. Central Time. We're going to go live. We're going to have a live broadcast this is one of the topics we're going to be talking about. We're also going to be talking about the um, of the little girl cupcake that's down there in Alabama. She is still missing, you guys. There's no update on there. The only update, the reward money has went up to $26,000. It's now at $26,000. So that's a good thing. And then we can also talk about, if you guys want to, the Tatiana case that's in Fort Worth. There has not been an update on there. They are going to lay her to rest this weekend. So we will be trying to cover a little bit of that. So you guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that bell for notification. Because if you click the bell for notification, then you don't have to worry about you getting notified. Because YouTube will notify you. And we will see you live at 5 Central Time tonight. Be good, be safe, and be nice to each other. Bye.